So my name is Alan, and my surname's Wohn, and I'm a neurologist here at North Bristol Trust. And my interest is in movement disorders, which is the branch of neurology that includes Parkinson's disease, but also includes problems like tremor and a condition called dystonia. In terms of my clinical practice, I tend to see patients from across the southwest of England, South Wales and Southern Ireland, particularly patients coming with complex stage Parkinson's. And we offer here at the Bristol Brain Centre advanced therapies for those disorders. But a third of my week spent doing research and my research really falls into two main arms. One arm is trying to address symptoms that are not currently tackled by the available armory of medication. So, for example, in Parkinson's, we've got things that improve tremor and stiffness and slowness, but we did not have anything to improve falls. So, a few years ago, to try to improve falls, we attempted to reposition a drug that's used for dementia because, for various reasons, we thought this might help patients with Parkinson's without dementia to reduce their falls. And what we found was that compared against placebo, falls went down by around 40%. This then is going on to a larger study because you have to replicate that in greater numbers and at multiple centres and that's being led by the Department of Social Medicine at the University of Bristol and Emily Henderson who's a geriatrician. And if that comes through, this will really bring for the first time a therapy to clinic to reduce falls in people with Parkinson's. The other side that's really needed by people with Parkinson's is something to slow the progression down. So we've got treatments that address symptoms some of the time, but nothing to restore brain cells, a so-called neurorestorative therapy, or to protect brain cells and therefore retard progression. So year on year, sadly, people with Parkinson's continue to deteriorate. Here at the Bristol Brain Centre over the last five years, we've been trialling a protein called GDNF where we've been infusing that with Professor Gill and the surgical team into the brain of people with Parkinson's on a monthly basis to see if that protects brain cells and that data is in and there are some trends for benefit and we now wish to explore that further. So what we're trying to do is to have a panel of things that address some of the unmet symptom needs and the unmet need for neuroprotection and this is really exciting because this is research that could have an impact not only here in Bristol but across the world.